This video is brought to you by the 3 Minute Board Game Patrons. Keep us independent by supporting us on Patreon. Kia ora koto, and welcome to Marble Dagger in about 3 minutes. Review copy used. It has a solo mode, it's a game for 1 to 5 players, playing time is long, and it's a pretty complex game. You are the Avengers, or Shield, or Dagger, or some other bunch of acronyms that stand for a superhero group. It is your calling to defend Earth from a villainous mastermind. The goal of the game is to defeat the Nemesis, but first you must deal with their 3 stage plan. This leads to a final confrontation with the Nemesis, and that will have its own win condition. The players lose, the hero is defeated twice, and they run out of time. Variable player powers. Each character has unique abilities and skills. Dice. The game has bespoke dice with special symbols on them. Player turn. Choose one of the nemesis to fight against. Take their three scheme cards, their unique monster card, and set up an event deck that has their unique cards in it. Then set up the main board using a first strike card like this and spawn its matching enemies on the board. Each player chooses a hero and takes one of the six aspect boards. These boards allow the same character to play differently. Then claim three aspect tokens, two grey and one coloured, as well as a team up power and your other powers and missions. There are four main actions you can take on your turn and if you look at these aspect cards you'll notice that each of them has two actions that are bolded those actions will be stronger for players with that aspect on your turn you will get three actions one for each of your aspect tokens to take an action you place an aspect token in one of the slots and follow the written instructions if you use the colored aspect token you gain the boost so here we would move one and then move two with the boost to fight you need an enemy in your region roll the dice equal to your character's attack score each of these symbols does one damage to the monster the second attack rolls this symbol which is a wild card so it also does three damage as the giant has six health it is removed triggering the special condition on justice's attack ability which is to advance a mission two steps the defiant action is normally how you advance these missions and you must be in the same location as the mission roll your defy score with each of these symbols being a success as justice has this special ability we get one more result and the boosted action treats wilds as three successes all those successes go on the mission which in this case needs four successes per player to advance it finally rest lets you roll your tactics die and for each success you either remove one damage or charge one of your special cards each character also has unique actions they can use instead of the normal ones here she hulk can become empowered and while empowered do her finisher action note the symbol it moves the team up track up one the team up track can be spent to flip any player's team up power once all players are done, the Nemesis activates. Advance the threat marker based on the active baddies on the board. If it reaches this number before you finished it, it resolves in favor of the Nemesis. Then draw an event card and resolve its effects. The symbols on the left of the card trigger things. This one makes you draw and place a side mission, while this one triggers an ability on Loki himself. Then each monster attacks heroes in their space doing damage, and then spawn new monsters as shown on the card. It is now the next turn. Why would you like this game? Marvel Dagger is a long co-op game that is essentially a multi-stage fight against one boss and to get the best out of the game you need to buy into that core concept because it's a game that rewards people for assembling a well-functioning team and who play to that team's strengths. The big draw here is the Marvel IP and the characters it contains and the strength of your connection to that brand will heavily influence how you enjoy the game. So I'd really only recommend it to fans of the Marvel IP who are looking for a meaty cooperative game that focuses on conflict over narrative. Well, the best thing about this game is some of the combos you can pull off. However, the combo building largely happens before you roll a single die, and the actual gameplay loop is very grindy. Having Thor with Justice defy every turn is better than him doing anything else, which makes for some very regimented and dull gameplay, which can happen in games like Pandemic, but Pandemic takes a quarter of the time to play. For a far sharper Marvel co-op, try Marvel United. And for a game that does co-op planning much better, try Thunderbirds. Marvel Dagger, please FFG, stop with the custom dice. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, like, share, and subscribe to the channel.